Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? Playing some Cacullin today. Uh, I'm actually a little bit late, so we need to buy our items pretty quickly. I'm gonna go a multi-pot, even though it's not the most amazing thing on Cacullin. It is nice to be able to double pot. So we're against a set. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly how this matchup should go, but my assumption is that it's gonna be really annoying at some parts of the game, but for the most part, I should just be able to go an auto-attack build and auto-attack him down. That's kind of how it, how it goes with sets. Set's a really good god, don't get me wrong, he really is, but uh, he does lose to a lot of auto attackers. Uh, and I'm gonna build Kukulin auto attack, obviously. I c you know, like, you definitely could go ability based Kukulin, and you still can, but I just feel like it's not worth it with Blue Stone not in the game. We I mean, might as well just uh, start like tier 2 Golden Blade or what I'm doing. I'm actually trying this build out for the first time. I'm going tier 2 Berserker Shield right now. Go ahead and mess this guy up a little bit. He frenzied. So we're going to walk away from that. Worst case scenario, we would have to shell there. But that's just trading relics, so no big deal. I'm kind of okay with him wanting me if he chooses to do that. Looks like he's not going to, though. We did out clear him. He's probably going to jump past me, is what I would assume. Uh, he's just going to miss those creeps entirely. He does not care about those creeps, man. <laughs> I could invade his buff, but I don't think I really have that big of an advantage. I'm not really winning very hard. I kind of just outcleared him there. That's pretty much all we got. Oh, also his relic's down. So that, that's that's worth mentioning, I think. He has no relic. And, uh... Um, I didn't realize he was going to push up. Probably should have fought him here. Oh, maybe we can kill anyways? No. Yeah, if I saved my one, I thought he would just recognize that I could kill him and then kind of back up. But then he immediately started walking towards me. But then again, maybe he only walked towards me because I won, right? I don't know. Who knows, man. But yeah, like I said, I have not done the Berserker's Rush a singular time. I was just thinking about it. I was like, what do I build on Kukulin? Uh, Golden Blade <clears throat> was my first thought. Well, my first thought was Blue Stone, actually. But then I remembered that there's no starters. So we ended up getting a uh, thing about Golden Blade, and now we're doing Berserkers, because I think it's better overall. I don't really want the Golden Blade. It's not really the most DPS efficient thing. Yeah, you good, Kukulin? It's not really the most DPS efficient. I kind of just want to snowball in the early game. And don't get me wrong, like, Golden Blade has really good snowball potential with farming, but you might, you might drop some kills or maybe even die early. And there are a lot of matchups where if you die a singular time as Kukulin, you might just lose the game, honestly. There are some matchups that you really just are forced to snowball. Probably gonna transform on this thingy. Not the biggest of deals. I can start the next wave with my transformation. He did end up frenzying. And, uh, ulting. <laughs> Wait, why? He's just not gonna follow me? Did he just give that up? Get, that dream is dead for him? He had the red buff and everything. I'm not saying that was a good ult by him, because it wasn't. I would have been able to get away. But, I mean, like, he should have at least used it. I don't know. Like, he kind of just did nothing. I want to say it might have been a misclick, too, but how do you misclick your relic and your ult, right? It's probably going to be one of those. Bonk, 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 bonk. <clears throat> Hope you guys are having a wonderful day, YouTube. I don't know if I said that in the last video or not, but either way, I guess it doesn't matter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. An amazing day, if you will. Bonk. Uh, I appreciate all the comments on that. I know, I know I've said this a lot recently, but I appreciate the comments on the last videos. Like, the, the, the most, most recent videos to this one. Um... A lot of people just, I, I basically asked for advice, I guess, or not advice, but I asked what you guys wanted to see out of YouTube content, like, um, because I uploaded a kind of 5-0 stomp, and I was wondering if that was okay with you guys, and the general consensus through Discord messages and YouTube comments was just that, uh, you guys don't really care for the most part, you kind of watch just to hear what I have to say, um, 
and kind of just watch to listen to what I have to say. Like, even if the guy I'm, I'm against does suck, like, I still tell you guys what he should be doing for the most part, and I tell you guys what he did wrong, so. Uh, anyway, the point is I appreciate the feedback. It does mean a lot to me. It means a lot to me to feel like I'm not being, like, ignored, you know? Also, that means a lot of people made it to the end of the video. Now, whether you skip to the end, or you actually watched, you know, whatever. The point is, is you. You made it till the end of the video. Appreciate that. Oh, he's ulting me. I'm just gonna ult the peel. I'm gonna back up a bit, space myself. Try to root him, but right now he's ulting, so we're kind of just waiting it out. I'll be honest, I don't really know why he's ulting like that. I don't, I don't get it. I, I guess he's just trying to get pressure, but he's not really getting any pressure, you know? Like, he almost got the red buff. And that's it. I don't think we could kill there. We do have 2600 in hand. I probably should have backed sooner than this. I don't really know why I didn't. I think I was just running around talking. What do we want here? Hmm. Let's we'll just go straight into a Kins. <laughs> Kins isn't the greatest Kekulon item in the world because he doesn't really have the best auto attack chain for it. Auto attack progression, if you will. But uh, it's not bad either. Like, it's not good, but it's not bad. Whatever. So auto attack Kekulon works better than, you know, maybe some other warriors. Like, I would argue Auto Attack Cullen actually works better than, like, Auto Attack Hercules and stuff. He has a worse Auto Attack chain. Unless you're canceling it every time, but you're not gonna have enough abilities. Oh, dude, the, the Kin size does half of my damage. You guys see that? I do 40, and then Keen's does 20. That's kind of nice. That's kind of a nice spike. And I don't like Kin's early, usually, because you don't have the attack speed. But I went Berserker's first item, so... This does not seem bad at all. I was wondering why my Kins was doing 18 instead of 20, but it was because he had his 3 up. Is he pushing up again? No. No, he is not. I don't think I have any kill potential, I'll be honest. Like, as much as I want to kill him, I don't think I can, just because he's going full CDR and kind of just running away now. So maybe I just try to farm. It kind of feels like I've killed him, though. Like, it feels like I've just won every fight and I'm beating him up and but well, it's not resulting in any any actual kill or lead that's fine though because honestly he's probably just trying to scale into the late game but I think this is fine late game I have anti heal on my one too I need to remember that hopefully I can get my one off before I transform There's just no way he can trade with me right now. I think I need to go into anti-heal next. Probably going to be the toxic blade. Yo. <clears throat> he's, he's building kind of normal, actually. I was going to comment on his build, but that's pretty much what most set players do. I'm going to cleanse the slow if he goes to hit me with it. Oh, I tried to anti-heal him, but... Yeah, we don't, we don't win the trades like that. No way. No way. I also have a lot of gold in hand, to be fair. Toxic Blade. Thorns. The it, It's pretty, like... What am I trying to say? You could definitely go Ankh against Set if you wanted, and sometimes I think it's good. Honestly, especially if you're a Magical God, because you, you don't want Thorns on a Magical God, because it does Magical damage. So every time they build magic defense, um, it's mitigating your thorns. Like it's doing your thorns is doing less damage. Um, so there's definitely a time to go Ankh versus Set, but I don't think it's now. I like thorns a lot more on uh, physical characters, especially a warrior, a character that can typically take a beating. Maybe I should have transformed there actually. Wow, we are just dumpstering this guy. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the Toxic Blade spike right there. Like, don't get me wrong, Toxic Blade penetration definitely helped there. But that's just the attack speed, man. We just needed the attack speed for the kin. Actually, let's check. Uh, our kins did 315. Not too bad. 
I can it a lot, honestly. That is a lot, especially considering he doesn't have any HP built. Any more HP, I guess I should say. Than just default set. Alright, this might be grief. I might die for this, but you know what? Honestly, I don't even care. <laughs> okay, no way we actually get away with that. So basically what I was doing there is I just wanted to try to clear the wave and get my transformation off and hope that my transformation would be enough to escape, which thankfully it was, partially because he just misplayed. But uh, yeah, I definitely don't recommend doing that. I kind of just did that as a... You know, I'm, I'm way too stubborn to give that wave up and to just run away and back and let, let the whole wave go under tower. I'm simply just too stubborn, so I'm not going to do it. But honestly, I should have died there. The thing is, though, is I really don't think that too much happens if I do die there. Like, I would, if I clear the wave, he can't push or do anything. All he would do is give bull demon, which I'm totally fine with. This is what I wanted to try, by the way. I wanted to go Berserker's Glad Shield and see if it's any good. Because honestly, I've never tried it before. I don't think I've seen it. No, that's not true. I've seen a set build this once, actually. And, uh, you know, I don't agree with it on set. <clears throat> but on a god like a Cullen... Like, basically, if this build is good on anyone in the game... Like, if going Berserkers into... Oh, no, that's not good at all, actually. Because I really want to back here. Going but Berserker's Glad Shield and Duel. What the f what just stopped my back, man? Anyways, if I can finish my points. <laughs> yeah, going Berserker's Glad Shield, if it's good on anyone in duel, it's gonna be Kakullen, in my opinion. Like, if it's not good on this guy, it's not gonna be good on anyone. That's just how I see it. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. Basically, the idea is we're just going Glad Shield, but I don't think Glad Shield is enough defense by itself, and I don't think Berserker Shield is enough defense either. You typically need like 50, 60 or so. Press plate is 65. And so basically, I'm going two, two defense items that aren't enough defense to go solo, but they both do damage. They're not just pure defense items. And also, having more defense makes Glad Shield do more damage, and you can't go a lot of defense in duel, which is kind of why it's not built. But if you're going double defense, it might just be decent enough. By no means am I am I going to assume that the glad shield is going to proc like for a million damage, but hopefully it does a, a good chunk. Like if I hit him with like six abilities in the fight, hopefully it's doing a couple hundred damage at least. I'm kind of just transforming off cooldown for no reason really, because he's not fighting me. This is a little bit of a snooze. But I'll be honest, this is kind of what I would assume. I've only played two Kakullin games, I think. I would assume this is how most Kakullin games are going to go. Because this character gets to roam the map and do whatever he wants, basically. Which means he's going to get a lot of rage and he's going to uh, transform a lot. And most characters in the game can't fight Kakullin while he's in his transform. And even if they can, a lot of players are just scared. And they may not even know that they can fight him. So it's like, yeah, even if you're not the best player in the world, as long as you're not inting under tower, if you're transforming off cooldown as Kakullin, you're probably going to have pressure, and you're probably not going to see your opponent very much, because if they have any brains at all, they're going to they're going to try to avoid you. Alright, um, I was a little bit scared of going this build, to be honest, the Oboe. Okay, wait, I should actually explain what I just did there, because people might not get it. Okay, so I want to go, I should have went XC there. Honestly, I should have, and why didn't I? That's a great question, that was a little bit of brain lag on my part. Because what I wanted to do is see how much attack speed I would have if I went Oboe, and then, and then, uh, XC. So basically I want XC and Oboe, but if I can't get enough, if I have too much attack speed... Then instead of XE, I'll just go um, Serrated Edge. So I wanted to test my what my attack speed would be. I bought Oboe and I was like, yeah, yeah, that's mostly fine. And just kind of left. But I definitely should have the, the Executioner here. <clears throat> I, I will overcap, especially with this this uh, attack speed buff that I have. Is he? Yeah. He, what? He really wasn't going to contest? No way. I, this guy has no clue what's going on. And my glad shield hit him a, and I'm a decent amount there. For a defense item, that's not bad. 
I should have just done Bull Baven. No way he outtrades me here. Yeah, in your dreams. No way. But yeah, so if we have the speed buff, especially, we're definitely going to over cap attack speed in this build. But I don't think it's I don't think it matters, honestly. I think it is mostly fine. We're only gonna over cap by a little bit anyways. And for those of you wondering why Oboe, I mean a lot of people who watch my have watched my streams for a long time, you'll get it. But basically, long story short, Oboe is one of the most efficient items when it comes to front dooring the opponent's titan. Ooh, nice. He didn't get me. And if you don't know what front dooring is, the short explanation for that is a back door is when, you know, like say my titan, my phoenix is down and I'm walking up here and then my opponent goes through the jungle and sneakily kills my titan, right? That's a back door. Uh, what I consider to be a front door, most people consider to be a front door, is when you basically do the exact same thing. The only difference is you're not sneaky about it. You just walk in and kill the dude's titan right in front of him. And uh, Oboe is really good for that because if there's no minions, it's just you, the enemy god, and the titan. And oftentimes they'll stand in range to get Oboe proc. So the lightning just bounces back and forth, basically. Yeah, you're not going to outtrade me. I'm just going to literally stand still. <laughs> I don't even need to shell there. No way that guy outtrades me. Like I said, that's the story with Set. Not to say he hasn't misplayed by any means, but it is. Um, basically, if they go Toxic Blade, they're going to have 60% anti-heal, and they're usually going to out-auto-attack you, unless you're ahead as Set. Let me just go ahead and buy this one up. It actually is going to increase our DPS. But I don't know if it's worth, um, what's it called? I don't know if it's worth the, uh, the loss of DPS to walk over. I was considering, the reason why I stopped hitting the Titan there, I was considering giving him one more fight. But to be honest, why even? This is already a 16, almost a 17 minute game. And he's simply just going to keep running from me. Like, every time he tries to fight me, he just gets clobbered. And Set is actually one of the preferred dual gods at the moment. He's actually really, really good. So if we can just stomp a Set like this is Kukulun, it's it's good. Like, it shows you guys how good Kukulun can be, is. Um, like I said, the other star I would have went is Golden Blade. You don't need it for clear. I'm sorry for this guy being super loud in the background, by the way. I guess I could pull up my... Um, volume mixer real quick boom mute smite all right so anyways you could go um you could go golden blade and like breastplate and then go auto attack that's kind of like i would say the more normal build but at the same time kakulin doesn't really have a normal build because no one plays this god in duel but um he's pretty easy mechanically you kind of just press all your buttons they're kind of unmissable um so if you guys do like cullen you wanted to try him out i recommend this build i think it's better than the golden blade breastplate thing although if you don't agree with the glad shield more power to you you could just go a breastplate there you could go a witch blade if you're against like a hunter or something or you could just not go that but not go double defense i mean but personally I feel like uh, I feel like Berserker Shield is not enough defense to go solo. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys watching the video. It does mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.